I know what you're thinking. Cam, where did this big blank wall come from? Well, this is where my desk was last week. That's right. When I spent like hours cable managing and creating a really beautiful desk setup. But it's not my fault. It's this, my iPad Pro's fault. Because ever since I've gotten an Apple Pencil and I've started drawing around and doing designs, I've changed my mind on how my office setup is gonna be. So today I wanna to look at how I use my iPad for productivity and actually using it as a dual screen for my computer. So let's get into it. This all came about because I wanted to have a main screen and a touch screen below it on my setup. That way I could have something on the big screen with gaming or doing something and then have touch screen access to modify something like my microphone levels, change the song on Spotify, you know, all those first world problem stuff. So this is a 3D model where I actually added in Dell's 24 inch touch screen monitor. Had IPS multi-touch input and it was about 400 bucks, which seemed pretty good. However, this iPad Pro only cost me $450. That's right. It is the first gen 2015 iPad Pro and they have come down in price dramatically. And the best benefit is that they get iPad OS. So they're still supported by Apple, they're still getting updates and the things like the Apple Pencil that they rely on is still being manufactured. So this iPad is still supported and you can still get the things that you need to make it work. Now deciding to use an iPad Pro as a second screen has been the best value for money as I can unplug it and take it with me to work or on my daily adventures, as well as traveling overseas, which you saw in my 2019 travel tech pack. I smashed Netflix on the plane and was able to keep up to date whilst traveling on that big 12.9 inch screen. And when it's plugged in on the desk, I'm able to utilize it for many touch screen purposes. So when it comes to music production, I have a teeny screen on my Native Instruments A49 MIDI keyboard. Now it's fine for choosing and loading instruments, but it's a pain for modifying synths, changing oscillators, and doing any fine tuning. Being able to reach forward and touch the screen to change settings and then twist the knobs in unison has really removed friction in the creative process, ultimately allowing me to stay focused on the music itself. The same goes for gaming where I have the iPad on the side, has my microphone levels, if I'm in a Discord chat, I can see that there. If you're live streaming, you can have OBS or Streamlabs on the side, as well as Spotify controlling all the music. The best part, if you're gaming in windowed mode, you're able to reach across and modify all these settings without it impacting the game itself. Also, if you're wondering what the case is, it's from an Aussie company named STM, and it's the Dux Plus. These are really rugged and they're utilized in schools and for business use, so I know it's gonna protect my iPad well. The standout feature for me is it has an Apple Pencil holder. So Cam, what's the magic app that I need to make my iPad work as a second screen on Windows 10? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's called Duet. You're gonna search that on the App Store and buy it. It's gonna cost you some cash, so let I me mean, just check the price. Duet display is 15 Aussie dollary dues, and it's worth every penny. As I talked, a second screen is 400 bucks for a decent touchscreen. So you're turning your iPad Pro or you're buying one and adding that 15 bucks, it's your head, your head of the game. The only other app that I bought on my iPad Pro is Procreate, and that's the drawing app that you use with the Apple Pencil. So as far as apps go, I highly recommend this Duet app. Now once you've installed it on your iPad, it's gonna ask to connect to Mac or PC. Now with the Mac, with the latest version of Catalina, this is redundant. You're able to do second screen on a Mac, don't go buy the app, check out Apple's offering. But on a PC, this is the way to go. You can also use your iPad as a wireless display with your PC over Duet Air, or Duet Pro allows you to use the pen input into your PC. So if you take the Apple Pencil and trying to use it in something like Photoshop, it's just not gonna register the touches unless you pay for Duet Pro, which is 50 bucks for the year. On your PC, you're gonna jump on the website, linked in the description below, and download the app required from Duet Display and install it on your computer. Now what this program does when you install it is it installs display drivers to make the iPad be recognizable as a touchscreen monitor on your computer. Once you've installed it, it'll run in the background, so whenever you plug in that lightning cable and select the Duet app on the iPad, it'll automatically push output from the computer to the iPad. 
Now when you first set up the iPad, you're gonna notice it's gonna be a little bit blurry. And it's because the screen resolution is not running at max resolution. And if you go into the display settings on Windows 10, all the options will be grayed out for resolution. What we're gonna need to do is go into the system tray in the bottom right hand corner and go into the Duet settings app. Here's the settings for the display and what makes your computer think the iPad is a second screen. So go through until you find a resolution that you're happy with and choose a performance option that your computer is able to cope with. Then you're all set up here. I've got my Spotify, my trolley boards. I can keep up to date on my videos. Got the video from here today, as well as the channel or something up on the screen. There's a lot more videos coming in this DIY series, Studio 2020. If you've missed any episodes, I'll chuck a link up here. I can never remember which side of the screen. It'll be over here. We did the 3D modeling where we actually utilized the iPad for viewing as well as the cable management on the desk, which I did this week. So it was a bit of a waste of my time. As well as plenty of other tech videos, I've got a Christmas tech gift guide video coming up. So make sure you keep an eye out for that one. In the second last episode of Studio 2020 for season one, we're gonna be checking out the blue ball setup and the gear that I use to make that happen. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, then the link's gonna be down here. And for something that you may like, YouTube's picked that one out for you. So Bruce and I will catch you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya.